Hey guys, welcome back to Mystery Mayhem Episode 3. The series where Alec and I open mystery packs or boxes or cubes or what have you, and we build and mod decks and face off with them in the ultimate challenge to see who can build the best mystery deck. Up till now, guys, we've been me messing around with the mystery like cubes, the boxes. But this week, we have the mystery packs. And as you can see, there are 20 cards. It says 20 common cards, five rare cards, one light pack, you can Great. already see it right there. And of course, one foreign pack. Why? Hopefully they're just Italian again. We can deal with Italian. No, we can't. <laughs> why, is, why is that a selling point? Why, why, why? I, I don't know. Like MJ Holding, I'm coming for you. I promise you. But yeah, guys, we're gonna open these up. We're gonna mod our decks. We have them right here. And hopefully we make something useful this week. Anyway, guys, uh, like, comment if, uh, if you've bought one of these or comment if we've stopped you from buying them because you've seen us open these. They probably bought them to do this exactly what we're doing, actually. We're all just all doing mystery box challenges now. All right, time to bust these bad boys open and be very disappointed. All right, we'll start off with the singles. We have Grand Spiritual Art Ichirin. I don't even know what, what is, is this like a, oh, this is for the charmers. Okay, uh, Sprite's Blessing, it's a ritual, it's a ritual support card. Xyz Tribal Rivals, okay, random. Xyz Import, that's still pretty random. Uh, Piri Rise Map, you can use this with level one monsters. I haven't gotten a monster yet, so I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. Uh, Dream Tower of Princess of Nem or Princess Nemalaria. Oh, well, if I get more than malaria, there might be something here. Uh, Mary Melfi's. This is so random. I can't even right now. <laughs> Scar of the Vendred. Hey, he's actually a good card in Vendred. I, I need more of him though. Uh, Morphtronic Telephone. That's not a Vendred. Okay. Sprite Carrot. I, I, okay. I, fine. I have, a, I have a Sprite. One. It is just Propagandic is a Psychic. I, I don't know if I've ever seen this card before. Once per turn, if you control a monster whose original type is a beast, insect, plant, or rock, I can declare one of those types that control. This card becomes a declared type. If this card applies this effect, apply the following while it remains in a monster zone. All face-up monsters on the field become the same type as this card. Monsters on the field with this card's type cannot be targeted by either player for using the effect monster your opponent controls with that same type. So you could actually make your entire board protected from your opponent's monsters. That's, that, that's interesting. I, I, I'm not 100% sure how I use it, but it is interesting. Uh, this is Nightmel the Dark Bonder. Okay, Psychic. This feels like it's related to like Rizbell and his sister, the Pendulum cards. Uh, Double Dust Tornado Twins, that's a lot of words. Uh, Tiaraman's Havness, okay, now we have Tiaraman Sue. Mary Melfi is my first duplicate. Action Magic Double Banking, you gotta have an Action Magic in a, when you're opening up random cards. The World Legacy, Escape of the Unchained, Salamangrate Burning Shell, Aroma Gardening. Why, do, why did I get a bunch of like archetypal cards that have no... Uh, very random. This is almost, what, this is like 25 cards. This is almost 25 different archetypes in one stack. Woo, all right. My hope is now into my uh, my light edition of Legendary Duelist Magical Hero. Magician's Ride. I think Alex actually had Dark Magician support, so I don't know if I can use this. Uh, Elemental Hero, Honest Neos. He's a, he is an Honest for hero monsters, so I don't think I have any. This is, it looks like another Italian star pack. I wonder why it's always Italian. Let's see. I, I don't I don't know what can be in here that I could want. Right now, I feel like this entire pack has been a bust. Uh, this is Tri Dice, the Speed Roy. And oh, this is Joan of Arc. I forget her proper name. Mmm, guys, I have a bad feeling this week. I can only hope that Alex's cards are just as bad. All right, let's get started with my mystery packs. Or one mystery pack, and then I don't know what to call this. All right, let's see. So, wait, this Ancient and Ascended? Ooh, I, I might need this in real life. I'm taking this more after the video's over. Um, Infant Noble Arms Durandal. Mikanko Purification Dance. I have no idea if I can use that. Probably not. Shadow Spell? Ooh, I'm about to mess Alec up. Okay, okay. Sakuretsu Armor. <laughs> oh my god. Trap Hole? <laughs> 
shard of greed. These are kind of crazy. Shrink? Holy crap. All of these throwback, actually not bad for a seal play cards. A magical exemplar, <laughs> yep. Uh, Crystal Seer, still part of the same idea. Meiku Master Barriers, wow. A Prince Magician, um, okay. So these definitely like, came from two structures, right? Well, like at a least couple of structures. Yeah, these last few were definitely all from the same like structure. Like I could, if I wanted to, I could play all of these in a deck together easily. Like they work together just fine. Except for this, I'm not sure what to do with that one. Uh, the rest are just decent stuff. I like what I saw there. Skyscraper, great. That's useless. <laughs> uh, Supreme King Zark, that's also pretty useless. And Perform Pal Popper up. Okay, that was. That wasn't the best. <laughs> Opera La Diva Melio, M Melodiosa. Okay, that was, close to, that was a close one there. Um, Samurai Super Sante Gigante Guanti. Uh, that's a weird one. All right. Um, oh my God. <laughs> Bear with me. Diva Fiorzura La Corista Melodiosa. Melodiosa. That was not my best work ever. I tried, guys. <laughs> mm. Well, uh, those are all of my cards for uh, this mystery bundle. I can't wait to give them a try. So Nightmel the Dark Bonder, I'm actually sure this guy is what possesses Rizbel in uh, for that like that pendulum line of like kind of lore that was like early Pendulum thing, there was an yeah, Iron Summoner. And yeah, and his sister, um, whatever her name was. Sazbell? Sazbell, yeah. Cause uh, first off, it looks like it, it kind of has the same like- Art style. Art style and like the, the magical symbols around it. But also it's a psychic type monster, just like a lot of those cards were. Hypno sister was. Interestingly enough, it's effect, I think has some use in like in, in a weird pendulum style deck, because you tribute a monster, then you can special summon from your deck a monster with the same original type, attribute, and level, and attack slash defense as a tributed monster, but with a different name. And if you tribute a monster special summon from the extra deck, you can special summon a monster from your extra deck instead that meets the same criteria. So pendulums oftentimes get special summon from your extra deck after they leave the field anyway. So Nightmail essentially says you can trade out one pendulum for another. Uh, I do play pendulums. A lot of my Yosenju, well, they're actually, they don't have the same attack and defense. So I, I'll have to figure that out. I'll have to figure that out. But it has 1,500 attacks. So maybe, maybe they'll find a way in my deck. I found a lot of just useful stuff in here, including a whole bunch of cards with innate synergy that I wanted to have in the deck together. As long as I try to make good use of these, these like really powerful removal cards, I, I kind of can't go wrong. So I think my deck, my deck can be very generically um, more defensive. And I think that'll make it a more powerful deck for our next game. And I'm hoping I can do something better than I did in the last game. I'm trying to see if any of these older cards have some kind of value now. I yeah, yeah, I can't use some of this for sure. <laughs> so I can make this. Is it worth it? Let Most me... of my cards are dead anyway. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm putting it in, all right? <laughs> That's true, you'll, uh, we'll see how much use you get, but. Yeah. All right. Time to lay it all on the line. Let's duel. I'm gonna start by setting a pendulum scale. Oh. No Predaplant Pufilacula. That's a, that's a zero scale. It is a zero scale, but I'm not gonna do much with it yet, cause you're not worth it. Wow. Normal summon. Stiragone, Stiragoso. That's Cyber's Wizard. Yes, I don't know what its effects are. I'll set one card face down. End my turn. And I will draw for turn. Since you control a monster and I do not, I'm going to special summon the Dododo -do -do Buster from my hand when I do its level becomes four. <clears throat> Next, I will activate <clears throat> Runic Dispelling. What's that do? So I can special summon a runic monster from my extract to the extra monster zone, but I'll have to skip my next battle phase. At least my that I go in there, better so it's be safe for a turn. Well, n my my next your next battle phase. It'll be this turn. Ah, uh, I'll summon my Frecky the Runic Fangs. Ooh, it's also big. He's a he's a kind of a battle guy. I need to put, but um, he can't attack this turn. So next, I'll activate <clears throat> Gift Exchange. 
Oh God. They're both gonna banish a card face down from my decks and the and the other one will then add that card to their hand during the end phase of this turn. So, How does that show up in like every single episode? There's like three or four different cards we have that do similar stuff. All right, Alex, so what rule do we want to set this time for giving each other cards? Um, we, we can say high level, low level, high attack, low attack. So we can say no spells or no traps. It'll be a gentleman's agreement. I say we each have to give a, a card that can remove something from the board. Okay, all right, I'm with that, I'm with that. If it tributes the monster, does that count as removal? I guess. Okay, I'll banish this card face down. And I will banish this card face down. On the end phase, we will exchange cards because it's a gift, you see. You may not like my gift. I will move to end phase. So we will add the cards. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> you suck. You suck too. <laughs> you can show your camera. Too. All right, we can show it so we can. We can... It can't even speak in the gist of me. Dark magic <laughs> Exactly. You So you tried to screw me and I screwed you too. Okay, yeah, I, all right. I was wondering if you were gonna screw me, but you did You made the rule. I mean, yes, I just thought I'd trick you. It didn't work. I thought only See, I'd get a good card. We could, we could have done this honestly, but here we are. You were duplicitous first. I, I, no, you I chose your card you choose first. the rule. You chose your card first. I'll pass. Fine, I'll have to draw for turn, I'm with you. <laughs> and now we just always know which cards should not be in these hands? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so how am I gonna handle this? Perform a pa perform age hat tricker. If there are two more monsters on the field, I can put some in this card from my hand. I'll go put it right here. So, yeah, if an effect would, um, a card or effect would inflict damage to me, as a quick effect, I can place one perform age counter on this card, max of three then make that effect deal da zero damage to If me. you are not going to burn yourself, do not bother with that. Basically, it, it only activates if you were to get burned, but how is that going to happen? I just wanted to put an extra monster on the board for free. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't have a lot of ideas, I just have some. I'm going to activate my Stregone Cerbeso. Cyberus Wizard. I'm reading the card. How about you try it? I'm just it? letting them know. I'll use my effect to switch one of my opponent's monsters to defense mode. I'll switch Freki the Runic Fangs to defense mode. Freki's in defense position. Now all of my monsters are forced to attack Freki or not at all this turn. Yes. But luckily, my Stregone Cerveso also gives itself piercing on yep. defense position monsters. So I'll enter the battle phase. Stregone Cerveso, attack! So you attack my uh, Freki, I'll take what, 1800? 1800 damage. Uh, Freki's effect, when he is destroyed by battle or card effect, I can target a runic quick play in my graveyard, add it to my hand. I'll target my runic dispelling. Oh, cycling, huh? All right, we'll go to main phase two. And I'm gonna set a card face down for later. I'll move to battle. No, you will not. Dodo -do Buster okay. will attack your Cyber's Wizard. Well, you have 1900 attack, huh? 1900 tier 18. Well, sadly, I had a face down card just for that. Well, not it can't that be one. that one. <laughs> I activate Tie Strike. During damage calculation, if my monster battles an opponent's monster, my battling monster's attack becomes that monster's, the opponent's monster's attack during damage calculation only. Also, the controller of any monster destroyed by that battle takes damage equal to its original attack at the end of the damage step. Oh wow, that'll, that'll activate Hat Tricker. Hmm. Yeah. Wow, that's like a, a very unexpected Yeah, it's a very, a very surprising interaction that I didn't see. That might be 100 sure you knew. Okay, fine. All right, so we're gonna clank. Yep, with 1900 each, and we both would take 1900, but my Hat Tricker will do a Hat Trick and save me the damage. If he gets to three, I'm gonna be... What does he do at three? Um, oh my, my attack and defense become further 300. If he gets a three, he becomes in, like relatively impossible to deal with. It's just, I don't see that happening again, but I didn't see it happening once, so. How does it feel for me to be in the driver's seat? You have a monster in defense position, so I don't know how much of a driver's seat you're in. Let's set two cards face down. Oh no, wait. And I will... Any reason you're just filling up your back row? I'll set one monster and pass. Okay. Oh, we'll drop a turn. I fear no face down cards. Let's go, perform age hat trigger, attack mode. Oh, 1100, okay. And next, I'm going to activate my spell card. 
Shield Crush. I'll target one defense position monster on the field and destroy that target. <laughs> so destroy your face down monster. I cannot believe I just got Shield Crushed. Huh. Goodbye, uh, Gem Knight Lapis. Oh. Lapis could have swung over before Mage Hat Tricker. Yeah, but I already had, went through my battle phase. That's fair. And next, speaking of battle phases, Hat Tricker. Attack him directly for 1100. I'll activate my Runic Dispelling. Okay, of course. Special summon a Runic Monster from my extra deck to my extra monster zone. Say hello to Gary the Runic Fangs. Oh, what did it do? So Gary doesn't really do anything because it can't be shown by card effects, but uh, and if it is special summoned from the extra deck, I can target a non-click play Runic card and add to hand. I don't have any of those. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when it is destroyed by battle, I'll target a card in the field and destroy it. I'll have my hat tricker redirect straight to your Gary. All right, you destroy Gary. Gary's effect activates. We will target to destroy, you know, we'll go and destroy the hat tricker. Not, of course. No, you can keep that card. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it, my board's empty. I mean, you're all right. Why his face down? <laughs> <laughs> right now, we both have each other's cards face down. <laughs> it's not the best. And they're not good. <laughs> uh, in that case, I'm going to, in main phase two, set one card face down in defense mode. And I'll end my turn. Then I'll draw for turn. Uh, not very useful, but it's not not useful. I will pass. All right, Alec. Hope you like this one. I I'll won't. tribute my face down card. Oh, okay. We're doing tribute summons now. Normal summon. Fire Opal Head. You have two zero, zero pendulums? I have a bad feeling almost all of my pendulum monsters are zero and one scales. I hate it here. <laughs> like I have a high scale in my deck. This thing's got 2,500 attack. Yes, yeah. it does. But also, because my Corvault Hedgehog is in the graveyard, I can special summon it, but when it leaves the field next time, oh, that was the last line of the effect. That's fair. I cannot do that. Okay, enter battle phase. I'm wide open. Fire Opal Head. Attack him directly for 2,500. That's a lot in one go. But that's the name of the game for me. Just taking damage. End my turn there. All right. Draw for turn. I'm going to normal summon my Perform Mage Hat Trigger. Oh. Yes, I have one too. I see that you do. Then I'll activate Ryoku. Oh, come on! I'm going to have the attack of your Fire Opal Head, and my Perform Mage Hat Trigger is going to gain that half. <sighs> Don't do that. So, so you're 2550, so you lose 1250, and I gain 1250. Yep. So now that I am. 2350 to your 1250, I'll attack. Darn it. My fire opal head is destroyed by battle. Yep. Can I take a 1100 damage? Uh, yes. It will actually, because it's a, it's a uh, pendulum monster. I'm not used to using these. Crap. All right. Main phase <clears throat> two, I will pass. Fine then. Hat tracker goes back to normal. That boy's smiling hard. Oh, he gotta play. He gotta play. You know, he comboed last time, if I remember correctly. So, it might be saying a combo again. Here we go. Next, I will normal summon Pazazul. Now it's a, now it's a, a one pendulum scale? What is going on? I, I opened on? those in the same hand, and I figured the zero mate boys has to put over here. What does Pazuzu even do? Well, it's normal effect that pendulum summons of my monsters cannot be negated. Okay. Also, once per turn, I can target one card. That's a pendulum effect. Pendulum. He's in the main monsters. Don't we have to read it? I know, but sometimes it matters. I have no idea what it does. I never looked at it. All right. But what matters is this card. What is that? Disposable learner device. I'll equip it to my Pazuzel. And now, it gains 200 attack for each monster in my graveyard. How many Wait, is I that? I thought that was a five, not a two. <laughs> I have three. Okay. So it gains 600. Well, that makes you even with me. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. You want to attack, Chief? <laughs> I'm honestly not sure. <laughs> uh, I think we one more monster in the grave, but. Um, okay, I'm going to attack, but like, as you notice, my hand is empty. <laughs> yeah, I, okay. But like, if I don't attack and you just out me, it's worse. So, enter battle phase. All right. Pazuzu, attack! We will both be destroyed. And now my, my disposal learner device's other effect activates. Thank God. 
So when, um, if this card is sent to the graveyard because it was sent there from the field this turn, I can set this card, but banish it when it leaves the field next time. Oh, it keeps some card, some, some of his cards, okay. All right, it's your turn. All right, draw for oh, wait, turn. And that was a pendulum monster, so I go over here. Speaking of pendulums, I'm gonna set my scale here with Valence Domination Duke and Sun Bell the Star Bond. Oh God! So that means I can summon anything between One, two, two and, and six. six. So let's go ahead and Pendulum Summon. Uh, psychic. I guess I'll huh? put Psychic Rover in defensive mode, oh. and he'll send you Magad. Oh come on! Yeah. Uh, Psychic Rover on special summon, I can roll a six-sided die. If I roll a one or a six, destroy up to two cards on the field. Oh, come if this on! Uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard, I can roll a six-sided die, and if I roll a two, three, four, or five, I'll special summon it. Great! And the, pl the player who summoned it cannot special summon from the extra deck while it is face up in the monster zone. All right, so we'll use his effect. We're gonna roll a die. Please don't be a one or a six. It could be. It Thank wasn't. God. Okay. So your cards are safe. Uh, Let's enter battle. Uh, the Senju Magat will attack you directly for 2,000. I'll have to take it. I'll move to cool. the end phase. The Senju Magat will return to my hand. Yep. And that's it. Your turn. All right. Come on. Heart of cards. Draw. What? I'll set one card face down and end my turn. Don't do that. Don't go like, mm, like you made a cool play. Like you didn't, like, okay, fine, whatever. Let's, you know what? Instead of special summoning this time, I'm going to tribute, right? Yeah. I'm gonna tribute my Psychic Rover to summon my Yasenju Magat. Mm. But on normal summon, I can special summon one Yasenju monster from my deck except itself. Chain! Oh. Oh, and Psychic Rover will also activate in grave. We'll make them oh. uh, chain. Oh. We'll do one and two. Then this will be chain link three. All right, what you got? My surprise chain. I can only activate this as chain link two or higher. <laughs> okay. uh, for chain link two, I can activate the top three, four, the top, oh, the top cards of my deck equal to the chain link number of this card, then place them on top of my deck in any order. So you can set yourself up and then throw something to the grave. Okay. Yep. Wait, so the thing that you put on top of you get sent to grave if you wanted to. So and you'll also get to guarantee you draw next turn. So really, he can like he can toss something and set up his draw for next time. Yeah, chain four, and it gets... yeah, chain link four would have drew me a card, which would have been great. Like but Alec opened me up to that that possibility of getting off at something. Yeah, at I, least. Mean, yeah, I, I didn't see it coming. I'll tell you that. I okay. definitely did not see that coming. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to do that. I think. Wait, how's this work? Okay, yeah. We'll do it like that. All right. So chain link two was psychic rover. I'm gonna roll a die. If I roll a two, two three, three, or four, four right? Wait, what about five? Uh, no, it's a, yeah, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, or five. Got it. He will special summon himself. Don't be a two, three, four, or five. It's a three. Dang it. Psychic Rover will special summon himself. I don't like this game he's playing with me. And he will start a new chain. Yosenju Magat will summon, and Yosenju from my deck. Mm, don't roll a one out of six. <laughs> we'll hit the Yosenju comma. Uh, God. And then we're going to roll in a new chain, Psychic Rover. One or six, let's see. Three, three. Okay. you're safe again. Oh God, I hate that card. I mean, you still gotta take all this damage though. Enter battle. Yosenju Kama will attack you for 1800. I'll take it. And then Magat will attack for 2000. Yep, I'll take that as well. Oh God, this All is All right, I'm going to set one card face down in main phase two, move to end phase. Comma two will return to my hand, but my God stays because that only happens if you're a special summon. Okay. I'll end my turn. All right, draw for turns, set this card, end my turn. Oh, okay, because you knew what the card was. I was like, how did he know, draw? There's that moment in Yu-Gi-Oh where like, you need to get around Pegasus and Millennium Eye. He like stops looking at the cards and yeah. just immediately sets them to the field. He just Therefore, Pegasus can't read them. <laughs> All right, so you have 1,100 life points, so we're just going to Pendulum Summon 2, Psychic Tracker, and you'll send you comma 2. Oh, uh, this looks bad. And huh? I'll enter battle. All right. Psychic Tracker attempts to end the game with 1,600. Battle yeah, Trap? I, I, it was, but it can't stop that. I lose. 
All right. Oh. I tried so Alex hard. Is the winner. And that's game. I can't believe I lost. Congratulations. I, I gave it everything. And I still didn't lost. Didn't get much for it. <laughs> <laughs>